goodness, that thing is a rock. Oh, it just leveled out. Will it, will it, re oh, why did it, how did it just level out? Will it respawn? Oh, nope, 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 it's not gonna make it. Brace for impact! Oh! Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Storm Cheryl. Today, we are going to be looking at some of the top creations on the workshop this week. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this video. So, starting off, we have the E1 Squib. This is a awesome vehicle that topped the charts very recently, and there's a reason for it. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we have the cockpit. Let's go ahead and close the door here. And we simply just activate it by flipping this switch. And as you can hear, a lot of pivots are moving. And that is because, look at this. Look at the tiny feet. It's so good. The tiny feet just go so fast. I love it. Alright, so. It just has a basic walking mode here. It does have generators. But I can't really get them to start. I, I'm not really sure why. So... Yeah, they, they won't start. But, this thing has a ton of different abilities. Specifically, it can run. Look at this, I love it so much. It looks hilarious. It just starts angling its feet and it just starts sprinting. It takes a little bit to get up to its top speed. But look how fast we're going in this thing. Now granted, in first person, it is very painful. Because we are getting shaken all around the place. I couldn't imagine riding in this. It would be insane. But we are going right now. We can simply turn by A and D. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's legit. Our feet is just scraping over across the runway. And then we got a special ability here. Jump. Here we go. Boom. Look at that. Now, because of the sprint and jump ability, uh, we're going to be doing something uh, pretty interesting a little bit later in the video. <laughs> there we go. Look, at, I, I love this thing so much. And not only that, but you can also cr you can also control the arms. So, <laughs> it's a little... Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Look at that. That's how you do it right there. Oh, I love it. It's so fast, too. So, with that being said, this is the squib. You, get, you guys will see the squib later on in this video for a uh, special stunt. So, let's go ahead and get on to the next creation. Yeet! Oh! Goodness, that thing is a rock. Our next mech is the EMP IND Hightower Mark 1. There might be more marks, meaning this beast might have a revision, and I think that is awesome. You go ahead and let's go ahead and board this thing. You got to climb up the leg here. Then you got a little hatch you got to open here. Don't knock yourself off. Then go ahead and hop in here. Then you got to, you're probably going to want to exit your seat to close the door. Otherwise, you won't have a tight seal and things can go wrong very quickly. So, to, so what you need to do first, go ahead and turn this key button on. That will activate the backlights and the stand for drive. Then you want to turn on your displays. Now you have a look at everything you need to see. Next, after that, we're going to go ahead and turn our area lights on. And we also have parachutes, flares, and all in all, illumination flares. So, next to make this thing actually work, let's go ahead and press the stand for drive button. Look at this. Look how crazy that is. Compared to that little squib down there, we are so high up. This makes me think that the weapons DLC for Stormworks is going to be so amazing. Just imagine multiplayer wars. Just, you got people in these huge, huge, huge robots walking around and fighting. That, that is awesome. That is going to be amazing. Just imagine being in this cockpit and just firing tons of missiles at enemies. And then actually receiving fire would actually be pretty cool because I'd imagine it would start lighting up and fire. That, that, that to me is absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and turn the generator on here. Just so we can get our battery charged fully, which we're going to need. Now, when it comes to special abilities, the squib has got it down as it can sprint and jump. However, this high tower can only walk. Now, since this is the Mark 1, the Mark 2 may actually have the ability to sprint and jump. But this thing, 
has a parachute. So, we're going to test that a little bit later. Maybe, maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. I don't know. But, for now, this is it. Also, one more note. This thing is completely waterproof. And it works underwater. So, if you needed to, you could have underwater battles. Just imagine that. Absolutely crazy. This thing is amazing. I really like it. We got broken arrows here. Uh, does the generator throw it Gonna turn that off for some reason. The generators just aren't actually working. I don't know why. Let's go and turn the generator off. And we also have radio, so if we need to speak to any other robot, we can. Dude, imagine being in multiplayer and just turning around to see this massive giant robot standing right behind you. This just looks insane. Oh, I love it so much. Well, I can't keep reviewing these same things, so let's go ahead and get on to the third creation. The third creation is the... What is that? Why is there a flare? What in the world? I'm guessing this is the broken arrow. Be gone! Eee! What? So, our third creation is the DeLorean from Back to the Future 1. This thing is incredibly detailed. Look at all the details on it. We got heaters for the turbo thrusters in the back. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Absolutely amazing, the detail. You got the windows, and they're all slanted as well with those robotic pivots. Amazingly detailed. The time it probably took for this is weeks. I, I can't imagine doing this in just a few days. Just look at this attention to detail. Now, uh, enough with the uh, outside. Let's go ahead and look in the inside. Let's go ahead and start this thing up. So to start it, just... Flip that key button, and it will immediately start up. Now, when I first tried this out, it was a little bit confusing. I didn't know how to go, so I pressed W, nothing happened. And then I looked back here and realized, hey, there's a handbrake, and now it just works. So here we have our speed in terms of miles per hour, and we also have our destination date. We, we aren't going to set that yet because we don't want to time travel just yet. We have our front lights if we need. And hazard lights, of course, for time travel only. Just makes sense. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. Here we go. Turbo thrusters are having kids. Oh, we're going. Okay, set the time. 1980. Here we go. We're going to the 1980s. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh get out. Uh, uh, wait, are we in the night? Did it work? No way. Did it actually work? Oh, 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 no, no, it didn't. Nope, never mind. That was just me. It's just the smoke in the air. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three. Two, one, go! Oh, we're going 40, 56, 80 miles per hour, 90, 120, 130, 140. Can we get to 150? Come on, 150 miles per hour, here we go. Oh my goodness, we're literally flying. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Um. Uh, all right, so that's the DeLorean. So let's go ahead and move on to our final creation before the final creation. Now this right here is the SA-42. It is probably about the simplest plane you can get. At least that was the goal of the creator. Now let's go ahead and open this thing up and let's get in the pilot seat and close the canopy. This thing can hold four people maximum, maybe a little bit more if you squeeze them in. Not everyone will be able to sit in a seat though, so you won't be able to do any barrel rolls, sadly, if you have more than four. But if you have everyone on a seat, you can do all the barrel rolls you want. Now, to get this thing started, we need to turn our avionics on, our fuel pump on. We 
don't need to turn on the stars yet so we need to turn on our engine controllers you turn these off you'll turn your engines off so next thing we want to do do not flip the landing gear even though it says it's off that actually means it's on so if you flip this you will disengage your landing gear and that also may mean you disengage your landing gear on the land which is not not a good thing not a good thing so let's go ahead and turn our navigation lights on our landing lights our strobe lights and our cabin lights we need those lights beacon lights cockpit back lights and we don't need our backup battery right now so let's go ahead and give it some throttle and let's go ahead and hold these starters here oh boy one of them started up before the other okay that's fine okay we've got our parking brake down here I might be able to adjust I don't think I can let's just floor it here and disengage the parking brake oh! that worked a lot better than I thought it would okay okay we're in the air let's go ahead and oh oh no 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 oh no okay okay it recovered it recovered I accidentally turned off one of the engines okay we're good our landing gear is up and look at this look how simple this thing is flying very smooth just gliding through the air and one of my favorite parts about this thing is how simple it is just look at the lights and I also really like the twin prop I don't know why I just like twin prop vehicles so let's go ahead and check this thing out at night because it does look very amazing look at that look how cool that is got all the lights in the front and especially in the fog watch this look how cool this looks in the fog oh wow all right we're gonna do a flip here we go okay we're heading back down real fast look at this oh i love it oh boy oh boy we're going turbo speed we're going turbo oh we're getting over speed over speed lift it up okay we're good we're good wait okay uh oh i don't know where that went let's try and land this thing but, but i do need to take the fog off all right there it is oh uh, look at this i can fly upside down and look at everything oh that's actually pretty cool look at this oh i love it all right let's go ahead and turn it down and flip it around going for a nosedive and we're going to turn it this way and start pulling this direction to land up for our to to land up to line up for our runway here okay we're turning in turning in turning in we need to make this a large turn here okay i see i see our goal now storeworks physics doesn't really allow for gliding so i'm going to have to somehow do this well i guess okay here we go we're coming in we're coming in okay let's start reducing the power of our engines okay we need the oh no 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 re-engage re-engage okay let's start getting lower to the ground ooh, 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 oh oh okay we're fine 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 no 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 why is it so hard to control oh it's not really responsive okay cut the engines cut the engines we need to go down oh 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 that was not graceful that was not graceful at all uh we probably got some damage up uh, no we haven't we've got no damage huh that's actually really surprising Okay, let's start these things up here and just look at this thing absolutely amazing however compared to the next thing we're about to do this thing is incredibly simple so I recommend you guys go ahead and check this thing out I'll have a link to every single one of the creations you guys see in today's video in the description below let's go ahead and get on to the final creation this is the end air a380 800 it's absolutely oh you see nothing there it is absolutely huge and 
it is extremely powerful. So, to get into this beast, we have to go ahead and jump up. At least, this is how I've learned to get into it. And then, there should be another handle I can grab onto. Oh, I fell. Let's try this again. Jump, grab the handle. And press the door open. Okay, there it is, there it is, there it is. And there should be another handle. Oh, there it is. Okay, I see it, I see it, I see it. Grab the handle. No. There we go. I grab the handle. Lift up. And crouch, maybe. Okay, let's move myself around here. Crouch. And push myself into the aircraft. Let's go ahead and close the door on this thing. Alright, so it looks like we're in second class, maybe, here? This actually may be third class, so I'm not 100% sure. But look at the design on this thing. Just absolutely, insanely detailed, and honestly, this thing seems like it'd be a great contender for the flak challenge. But look at this. Actually insane. Let's go ahead and head up to, I believe this is... Second or first class? I think it's both. Oh, yep. This is definitely business class, I believe. Oh, yeah. Look at this. That's so cool. Let's go ahead and get to the first class, though. That's where it's all at. Look at this. Oh, it's amazing. So, in first class, these are a few of the things you can do. You can look at it. Oh, uh, you, uh, there is nothing there. Nope. Just, just a third person angle. You, you see nothing. Here we have a map. So you can actually see where you are on your trip. Then you have the main. This will tell you your estimated arrival, what the time is, and how it's going to be working. I actually really appreciate how it says the time and everything. That's really awesome. Oh, look how cool that is. Okay, so. Up front here we have, and, and just look at this. Look at this galaxy nightlight here at the top. I, It's so amazing. I love it. You got the perfect first class. Talk to your friends while drinking yep, your drink. Whatever it may be. It may be, pr probably should be water. Yeah, j just water. So let's go ahead and get to the cabin. Look at this. Okay, let's go ahead and get in the seat because it is the main cabin seat. And to start this thing up, we've got to do uh, quite a lot of switches. So, what I like to do first, as always, is turn on the lights. We need all the lights, the strobe lights, all the lights. Then, we we don't need an emergency eva evacuation. That's, uh, don't need that. Avionics, we also need our battery on. Here, we need our data on as well. And when I saw fuel cu cut off, I thought it was something else I thought it actually meant that it cut off the fuel from the engines nope nope it actually gives the the fuel engine so let's turn on the a APU fuel pump and the APU fuel cutoff then we need all of the hydraulic systems otherwise there's no way I'm gonna be able to fly this thing oh nope I forgot those are the extinguish buttons don't press that okay let's turn on all the engine generators because we need that power Okay, now that all that's turned on, I need to go ahead and engage all the starters quickly. There it is. That should be okay. Uh, the, we're, we're kind of in these uh, the, the headphone seats, so I can't really tell. Oh, the, nope. You've seen nothing. Okay, look at that. There we go. They're starting to spin up. All right, let's go ahead and start raising the throttle here. Oh, boy. Okay, that's the landing gear. Landing gear is on. We got our parking brake on. Okay, so, uh, nope, nope, nothing. You, nope. Okay, parking brake off. Okay, okay, it's fine. I've got mechs on this thing. Here we go. Okay, we need to aim it this direction. Why is it going that direction? Why is it, okay, just floor it, just floor it, just floor it. We need to, oh, we're losing them all. Lift off. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. We're practically doing a vertical in a ginormous airplane. It's fine. That's just how it is sometimes. There we go. Okay. Okay. We're fine. 
This thing has a lot of power. Let's keep this. Let's keep this insane climb going. Look at this thing. It's so powerful. I love it. Okay. Vertical climb. There we go. Oh, look at that. This thing is insane. Oh, I don't want to fall. Okay, let's get back in this thing. Look how high we're going and how fast. All right, let's do a barrel roll. Or not a barrel roll, just do a flip in general. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this thing to just kind of hold, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why? Why? Oh, we got a fire. Why is there a fire? Why is there a fire? Uh, Altitude hold. I need you to hold. Uh, 700. Or, wait, wait, uh, 625, actually, it looks. 625. And altitude hold. Okay. Hopefully that should take care. Engage autopilot. I can't really move around. I'm sort of just stuck. I'm kind of pinned. Oh no! We're doing a dive. We're doing a dive. Oh, and I'm getting pushed back. No! Okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, I think it's actually leveling out. This is fine. We we are fine. Hopefully. Oh, look at those train tracks down there. That's awesome. But just look at the detail on this plane. It's so good. Oh no, we have a fire back here. This isn't good. Yeah, okay. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Um, we gotta get out of here. It, it doesn't work. There's, it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. Uh, uh. Oh no. Oh no. Brace for impact! This isn't good. We're going down. We're going down. Oh. Oh no, the water's getting close. The water's getting close. Hopefully this thing floats. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it just leveled out. Will it, will it, re oh, why did it, how did it just level out? Will it respawn? Oh no, nope, nope, it's not gonna make it. Brace for impact! Oh! Oh. Does it float though? I don't think it floats. I don't think it floats. We gotta swim. Oh, there's the exit sign. Come on. We gotta get to the back. Gotta get to the back fast. Oh, get down. Get to the back. Okay. We're to the back. Get up. Okay. There's an air pocket. It's going away, though. Okay. I need to find a door. I need to find some form of a door. I don't think there's a door. Where's the door? There's the door. Get out. No. Okay. I seem to have survived. But sadly, it seems that we have lost the mech. The sad thing is, it seems we have lost the mech. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get it up on this crazy thing. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless you. Today's Bible verse is 2 Corinthians 4.18. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless you.